Oklahoma Career Tech has a program that helps inmates in Oklahoma's state prisons gain employment once they're released. Catherine Birch racked up four felony convictions, the last landing her in maximum security at Mabel Bassett Correctional Center in McLeod. I can remember pulling up, you know, going up the dirt road and just a sickness just hit my stomach. And I just started crying, you know. Um, it was a fear that I couldn't even explain because I didn't know what was going to happen, not only to me, but, you know, if anything, you know, I didn't, I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know anything about this place. All I knew is it was maximum security. You had murderers there. You had lifers there. You had people that didn't care. And I told myself, I'm coming out of this place with something I didn't come into it with. So my whole motivation from that moment on was to apply myself on po in, in a positive way. But upon her release, she's now working in a warehouse at Electro Enterprises. The Oklahoma's Catherine McNutt reports Birch qualified for the job because of training she received through the Skills Center inside Mabel Bassett. Here in Oklahoma City, I don't have any family here. I didn't know anyone here except the volunteers that came into the prison, and that was it. Well, those were the people that supported me and helped transition me from prison to the community. The training includes technical skills like operating a forklift or welding torch, but also with life skills like personal finances and preparing a resume. The training combines online and personal instruction for inmates nearing the end of their incarceration. I didn't want the credits. I wasn't doing it for the credits. I was doing it for the knowledge. I was doing it for the experience because my thought was I didn't want to come back out and flip burgers. I knew the only way I was going to be able to do that was I had to get different skills. So that's what I did. 